Hi, my name is Nikhil Kumar and today I've got a question for you which is based on reasoning. In fact, I've seen that students usually struggle a lot with strengthening and weakening questions. So here, I've got a question for you which is based on reasoning and it's a strengthening question. So start off with, first of all, I'd like to let you know that reasoning questions or strengthening and weakening questions are super easy, very easy. You just, it's just that you have to understand what the, what the paragraph is saying, what the argument is saying. We have to simplify it and see what is really missing out there. Uh, I'll, I'll just explain uh, that using this question. You get a lot of these questions on, on uh, a new digital SAT, okay? And this question, of course, I pulled out from College Board website. So here, first of all, we'll read uh, the question stem. Which finding would most directly support the researcher's hypothesis? Now, we have to understand what is the hypothesis of the researchers. It's given, it's given in the right in the first line, no problem. Researchers hypothesize that a decline in the population of dusky sharks near the mid-Atlantic coast of North America led to a decline in the population of eastern oysters. So, uh, decline in dusky sharks led to a decline in eastern oysters. Dusky, so this is, this is what we have to support. So, what I'll do is I'll try to condense this statement into some simpler equation. So uh, what happens here, I have it, DS means uh, dusky sharks and uh, EO means uh, no rocket science, eastern oysters. So decline in dusky sharks has led to decline in eastern oysters. This is what we have to strengthen. This is already given. It, 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 you know, one thing is leading to another. Dusky sharks do not typically consume eastern oysters, but do consume cow nose ray. So we can give that also. I'll just make this diagram once again. Yeah. That decline in DS led to decline in EU. We also know that uh, dusky sharks do not eat eastern oysters. They actually eat uh, cow nose ray. So I'm representing that with CR. And CR eat EU. All right. So this much information is given. And uh, this the first statement is actually the hypothesis here. We have to strengthen this. Now just spend some time here. We have to prove that it is because of dusky shark that eastern oysters are, um, you know, their numbers are going down. But at the same time, dusky sharks don't eat eastern oysters directly. So they, so what can we say? That let's say dusky sharks uh, population is declining. It's, it's going down. So what will happen? They eat, uh, what is it? Cow nose rays, <laughs> very funny names. Cow nose rays, they, they will increase in number, isn't that so? I mean, if, if the predator, predator's population is going down, then, then uh, cow nose rays population will go up. Because now they don't have anyone to eat them. Okay? Now, if they, their population increases, what will happen? Eastern oysters population will decrease. So you can see everything is given except for one thing, let me find my pen just a sec and a different color pen. Everything is given except for this fact that uh, CR's uh, or, or cow nose rays population increases when dusky shark's population decreases. So if cow nose rays population increases, then automatically eastern oysters population will go down because if there are more uh, cow nose rays, they will eat more of eastern oysters. So I just want this information from somewhere. If I can find this, that, that yes, their, their population is increasing and that is what is leading to the re reduction in eastern oysters population. So we can say eventually, eventually it is decreased in dusky shark, which is leading to decrease in eastern oysters. That was our main hypothesis. And that is given in the last choice. Cow nose rays have increased in regional abundance as dusky sharks have decreased in regional abundance. This gives us. And that is the right answer. Rest of the uh, choices are given, giving some information. But you have to first understand the argument. If you understand the argument, if you understand the equation, it becomes really easy for you to identify the correct choice. Otherwise, you go through the other choices. You are confused about dusky shark, you are confused about cow nose, 
uh, rays and then eastern oysters, you'll just get confused, you'll, you'll get trapped into these choices. First of all, understand what the argument is saying. Look out what is that we need which can strengthen the hypothesis. Making sense? So this is how we come to D option. You can look, go through other options also. They will be good enough to confuse you. But once you have understood the mean argument, once you've understood the hypothesis, once you have, uh, you know, condensed the argument into these equations, you will definitely not fall into any trap. I hope that helps. Okay. All right, then take care. All the best.